Annie Pearl. But you have to sing that song. <laughs> Hands up! Hands up! I cannot breathe! Hands up! Hands up! I cannot breathe! We as a people have come too far to be silent in the face of continuing challenges. Silence is not an option, it never has been, and it never will be. I am Mike Brown, I'm Eric Gardner, I'm Sharon Mosley, Tamir Top Rice, I'm Emmett Till, a teenager murdered. And his killers were acquitted in 1995, one year after the historic Brown versus the Board of Education decision um, uh, that legally outlawed separate but equal. And just three months before, Mrs. Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a public bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Parks followed Joanne Robert Robinson, um, the Women's Political Council, Claudette Coleman, and many, many, many others when she was arrested. She studied, organized, and then took action as a part of an organized body of people determined to desegregate the buses, um, but more importantly, to secure justice in every other arena for all people. This was one of many efforts of regular people from all different racial, cultural, class backgrounds, students, elders, business people, maids, teachers, and others, um, um, and sororities and the churches who sought justice and used their voice, their power to make a positive difference in the world despite the challenges they face. So Sankofa, or the going back to fetch it, is very vital here today. Um, because if we don't know what happened before, then we won't know what's happening today. We won't understand it. We won't know whether it's better or worse than what we've already experienced. We won't know about Mark Delaney, Paul Robeson, L.L. Baker, and yes, Dr. Martin Luther King. So this occasion allows us to remember the legacy of Rosa Parks and to recognize and publicly thank special people in Amen. our community Amen. who exhibit some of her qualities or who support civil rights and social justice in a variety of ways. There are many ways to support that mission. Reverend Carl Anderson, Mr. Richard Anderson, Dr. Paul Ortiz, Ms. Rosa B. Williams, Deontra Smith, our legacy bearer, we thank you for your, the unique way that you have given your time and your talent, your heart, to teach, to share, to help, to resist, to speak up, and make a positive difference in the lives of others. Through your work, you honor the memory of Ms. Rosa Parks. Let this program then inspire some and remind others to stand up, to help, to serve, to speak up, to demonstrate truth and courage, and to do whatever they can to promote truth and right. justice wherever it is needed today. This is our occasion and our purpose. Hands up. Hands up.